So we have, Esther has prophesied to some people today. <laughs> We've got Marty. <clears throat> Marty came and brought a gift of two laptops. He donated two laptops because he is just amazingly generous, obedient, son of God. Now, he's in here prophesying to somebody. Look at you. <laughs> I love that color. Get her a little tail, some cat ears. <laughs> That's her costume. Actually, those shoes really match your outfit. Uh-huh. They go with the dark stripes. Hi, Kimmy. Who said more eggs? And it's still wrong. You still don't get it. You want some more? But he said if you can follow, if you are careful to obey the law, if you are careful to do everything that is written in it, then 
you will be saved. And it's absolutely true. If you were when capable of doing everything in the law, you would be saved. Yeah, you they, um, some people yeah, have tried to call 911 like, because <laughs> you see three, ki- no, it is three <laughs> white kids with a man that is too old to be their dad. Yeah. <laughs> And until they call him pop, they're like, okay. If I don't say, like, if I don't say file sick within a certain period of time, mm-hmm. the, you know, it just starts burning. Take it. What did you feel the same Yeah. Me, anything that's a little bit. So now you know. Oh, I did too when I was pregnant. It was uh, awful. Do you crave pickles? Do you really like pickles? No. Oh. So yeah, I, I read somewhere that oftentimes really like that, that the acidic foods, food. if your okay. stomach isn't producing enough acid, you might want to like include more acidic stuff in your diet. Some, some people, too much acid, too much acid. there's some name? alkaline foods that you can I'm take that help with that, that just to regulate the pH. Really yeah, so maybe like the vinegar would work then, because the vinegar is acid, you have to do the sensors, and oh, the acid, you can stop production, and we have a fast coming down. That's what I don't know. I just want James the title of Jennifer the Players. Murray being called. Murray being I shall be safe tonight. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. I shall be safe tonight. Yeah. Yeah. She does yes. great morning prayers. I know. Oh. <laughs> when right is this? There. I don't know. <laughs> and, well, Jennifer, do you know who Jennifer the Players is? I know the name. Okay. She's having a conference. Oh. I'm scared of being in your life. It lit- it, it literally it was the um, dirt room pretty much you know where you come into a house there's a little space yeah it was the space for wiping your feet that had a bathroom next to it when you go in that that didn't sh- that didn't shut all the way it was so much has happened. I think about what's happened since my daughter's been born. How many places have I gone and how many different places have we lived since then? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Everybody's got their maps. Everybody's got we got we gotta send this to Steve. He's gonna love it. We're yeah. We're we're staking out Herndon. Def, you guys um, definitely claim coronavirus cannot enter into this place, or anybody coming in and out is covered. Uh, so Esther and Marty are going to go walk and stake out the East Gate. That's the that's the gate we're covering in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was looking over the hospital. I see them. Mm-hmm. There is. Where are they? The there, first. They, there they are. It is Esther and Marty. They're going to beautiful cherry blossoms. Can't see very good from this far, but they're going to stake the East Gate. Mm-hmm. She's really peeing. <laughs> hey, hey, cutie. <laughs> Abigail Rose reading a book without pictures. <laughs> the haircut princess. She does this little thing. Let me show them. Where she twirls. She takes her finger and twirls her hair. Pika, pika, pika. Like she's made a little dread. The soda eats. But we half has the org. Pizza may pour it out. 
I love that we can come to the Ecclesia, get out of the house where Daddy's working. Got her toys set up. So peaceful here. Got to talk to my son for over an hour today. And not just a call, the mandate. The mandate is bigger than the call. You know, he called us for a purpose here. He sent you here for, for a great work in this region. I remember when you first reached out to me, you said, God sent me here and he's showing me a ministry. Well, now look, you're in the building. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was what, a, I don't know, how, when did you reach out? It was like, oh, before the summer, mm -hmm. over the summer or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that what God gave to you and showed you is we're sitting in manifestation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave daddy in charge. <laughs> Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when 
the sun goes down. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back.